Hey guys. <clears throat> oh, that felt good. Hey. <clears throat> We're on our way, guys. Um We're on our way to another story. Um This story right here, um, it's not gonna be sad, you know. It's not gonna be sad. This is gonna be a story. It's a nice story. Um last night when I went to the um all black with Ray Sean uh, in them last night. Um, someone said, Rhoda, I've been looking for you. I've been inboxing you. I've been looking for you for a while. I have an envelope with something in it and I want to give it to you. They told me that last night. Um, they said, I just love you so much. <laughs> I just love you so much. And I want to give you this envelope I saved for months. I want you to get it. And they, they, this morning, they contacted me again and say, please come pass and get this envelope. It's just like, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. To do this work, you have to be built for it tough. I'm not for it tough, but when I had to deal with people dying and getting murdered and People losing their kids, it weigh on me. It weigh on me so hard. Because of what goes on behind the scenes. Just want to pull over for a second. Just want to get myself together before I go anywhere else. Just need to stop for one second. Let's stop here. Stop for a second. That's why I don't do like shootings. I don't do murders. I don't like to do that stuff, guys. It's hard for me because people are, people are, people broken people broken look i'm broken i'm broken and it's not even my family and i'm broken you gotta be for tough to report this type of stuff like people getting shot and killed people losing their loved ones and stuff and then it's like if lord if god if i was able to fix it <laughs> i would fix it all but i don't have the answers to why we keep doing what we do don't have the answers I don't know what to say to, I don't even know what to say to the mothers no more I don't know what to say to the mothers but I'm going to pray for you I don't understand how we can constantly as a community constantly keep bringing so much pain into our own community I don't know why we do each other like this. Dogs. Dogs are treated better on this earth than black people are treated by their own black people. A person will walk up and give a dog a hot dog or a hamburger or a biscuit. But take, but we'll walk up to another black man and take a gun and, and, and take his life. No compassion for each other. Would it ever stop? I don't. I wish I. I wish I knew. I wish I knew why we do what we do. I wish I can just sit them all down and see where they where their brains are. 
how you think. It got to be a recipe on how you think. I want to know your recipe on how the black community is thinking the young men's. I want to know y'all recipe. What y'all think about at night when you sitting down, you smoking your blunt, you getting high, you talking to your boys. What's going through your mind? What what What's your recipe? Because whatever the recipe is, I want to take out some of those ingredients that's going to lead you down the wrong road. Nobody is talking to our youth, our, our younger black men. Nobody. Just another black man. Dead. Call the police. For the white men. Come stand on top of a black man body. On the ground. In the rain. For the white police officers with suits on. Well paid. Detectives. Walking around. Showboating. The white men, the white police officer with the badges on, standing there with their hand like this on their hip, doing this. Why we laying on the ground dead? Telling our loved ones, don't come near us. They can't touch us. They can't hold us while we take our last breath. For the white men. Because the action that you do. We got to sit there and look at our loved ones die on the ground while 40 white men stand around us and let us take our last breath by ourselves. The same 40 white men that still around the body that's shot on the ground, it's the same 40 white men knocking on your mama door to pick you up and lock you up. The 40 white men. Is your son home? Is your son home? Is Michael home? No, he's not here right now. Well, can you tell Michael the police department is looking for him to give him 20 years to life? When we come back, we're going to come back and kick it in. He's going to do this 20 to 40 for the white men. Judged by 12 white people in the courts. And a white judge. Only time you're going to see some black in your life when it comes to your time. It's going to be in the sheriff department. Because the sheriffs are black. But the 40 white men. The 40 white men. They're going to surround the body on the ground. They're going to block the family from seeing touching they let they love one while they take their last breath the 40 white men is going to be the one to knock on your mama door to pick you up the 40 white men is going to be divided into jurors and the judge and sentence you to life 40 years 40 years you got 40 years you got 40 years the white man gave you 40 years but the same for the white men, but the same for the white men won't come into the community before this stuff happen and get the communities right. They won't make a plan for the black community. The same for the white men is not going to come into your community until one of you shot in day for the white men. The 40 white men that's out there doing well for themselves, it's not gonna, it's not gonna be a role model to the black community. But shoot that gun, and you're gonna meet the 40 white men. See, it's time that people really start breaking down your actions. It's time that people start making you think and rethink before you act. Man, I want you to smoke the blunt. I want you to get high as a motherfucker. And I want you to think about the 40 white men. Wrote a young lie, say the 40 white men. Man, fuck that. I ain't trying to be, I ain't trying to meet the 40 white men. What you mean the 40 white men? The 40 white men that's going to stand around my body when somebody shoot me dead in this street. Or the 40 white men that's going to surround my damn door and tell my mom I want to get 20 years to life. You want to meet the 40 white men? 
I ain't trying to meet the 40 white men. Ask your son about the 40 white men. Ask your son, do he want to meet the 40 white men? The ones going to surround his body and not like let his mother hold him while he take his last breath. Or the 40 white men that's going to surround his door with the SWAT team to lock his ass up. Ask your son. Tell him about the story about Rhoda Young Live and the 40 white men. That's the story we need to share in our community. Rhoda Young Live said you want to meet the 40 white men? What the hell is the 40 white men? The 40 white men is going to stand around your damn body. You keep selling drugs. What's about to kill you dead in the street? Or the 40 white men, when you got that gun on your hip? Or the 40 white men that's going to be surrounding my damn door to come lock your ass up and give you 20 years to life? I'm going to change this tempo. I had to get myself together. We're going to switch the, we're going to flip the switch on this real quick. We're going to show you something positive now. When I come back, give me about 10 minutes when I get back. But speak to your kids about the 40 white men. Speak to them. Ask them do he want to meet the 40 white men. It's two ways to meet them. Dead in the street or SWAT team surrounding my house. Ask your kids about the 40 white men.